So uh, good day everyone, especially to the BSBAFM and OM students under the methods of research. So uh, we are now in the uh, first chapter or first topics and lessons of the methods of research. And it is named Researching Its Nature and Characteristics. So the subtopics of this chapter first is the meaning of research demands major problems that demand research, characteristics of research, as well as the approaches. The types of research, basically the two general, which is the qualitative and quantitative, the strength and weaknesses of those types of research, and the different kinds of variables. As students of BSBA or Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, then at the end of this lesson or chapter, you should be able to First is know the importance of research in our society, as well as the characteristics of a good research and researcher, and understood the types of research and its component. Before we proceed to the first lesson, which is the nature of research, let us first discuss the rationale of why we have to study this subject. So uh, basically, the research is uh, which is specifically the thesis writing is composed of two subjects number one is the uh, methods of research which is now that you are enrolled in a subject that you are now enrolled in wherein we have to discuss all the different uh, chapters of the thesis and the second sem in the second semester that would be a thesis writing or basically an application of what you have learned for this semester or for this subject so uh, let us proceed with the uh, first topic or the nature of research as undergraduate students you might ask bakit kailangan nating mag-research bakit kailangan nating magsulat ng thesis not only for undergraduate students but also for graduate students in the masteral and doctorate research is considered as one of the most laborious when we say laborious pinakamatrabahong subject hindi lamang ito uh, kailangan pag-aralan sa loob ng dalawang semester, ito din ay dumadaan sa dalawang uri ng defense. Oral defense, first is the, uh, the proposal defense, and the last is the final defense. It could, be, it could be an individual effort or it could be a team effort. And aside from that, the uh, one of the... Uh, most important thing that you have to remember is that this is not only a subject just like any other subject hindi ito gaya ng inyong minor and major subject ito ay academic requirement or graduation requirement hindi kayo makakakuha ng transcript of records pagka hindi ninyo natapos ang subject na ito or nakapagpabind ng inyong final copy ng research however in that would be uh, one of the uh, impression from students bakit kailangan mag-aral ang research is that it is only an academic requirement but in the real sense as business administration students it is one of the most important subject because all lessons or topics or knowledge that you have gained from the past years from your first year and second year dito maia apply sa subject na ito and aside from that as students as business as a future business managers you should be able to create to search and to validate knowledge para makatulong ka sa kumpanya or organisasyon na iyong kinabibilangan but first what is research in the uh, simplest uh, way of defining research then it means finding information in the internet Kapag binibigyan ka ng teacher mo ng assigned projects or term papers, sabi ng teacher mo, okay, search for this particular assignment, so research na yon. But in uh, the real working environment, pag kayo ay nakapagtapos na nagtatrabaho na, research is a very complex uh, requirement, very complex process. Because at the end of the day or at the end of the research, Research would result to or is expected to uh, give uh, potential solutions to the existing organizational problems or issues and it is expected to uh, uh, give answers 
to the questions to the questions that you have encountered in a particular organization or business however none of the above can be considered scientific research so let us uh, uh, em- give emphasis that this subject is not the particular research na gagawin natin na pupunta tayo sa internet at magbabrowse this is a scientific uh, research wherein it contributes to a body of science so again in this subject we are uh, studying scientific research wherein at the end of the uh, subject should be able to contribute to a body of science especially in the field of business administration the research mo dapat man lamang makapagbigay uh, ng uh, or makapagbigay ng ideas on how to uh, establish or create uh, innovative products on how to formulate marketing strategies answering questions answering problems to particular organizational questions problems or issues wherein we follow a scientific method when you say scientific method there is a, there is a process there is a procedure especially in the uh, identification of problem in the gathering and collection of data and in the uh, interpretation and presentation of those data according to Creswell research is a process of steps used to collect and analyze information to increase our understanding of a topic or uh, issue but before we could conduct a scientific research it should uh, undergo three steps first one is to pose a question bago tayo makapag-isip ng uh, isang uh, procedure para makapaghanap ng uh, kasagutan sa problema then dapat meron muna tayong tinatanong at paano tayo magtatanong how do we question how what do we uh, ask how do we ask basically it arises from our experiences experience problem or issues o na nakita natin sa society in our own family in church in uh, school so pag uh, meron tayong nakikitang mga problema or issue o mga katanungan na hindi natin pa kayang sagutin then we ask questions we inquire that's why it is an, a, an inquiry process then after posing a question in order for research to continue we should collect data to answer that question so basically how do we collect data and what is a data data is an information that could give us that could give us a knowledge on a certain uh, uh, a topic that we are trying to research or the topic that we are trying to uh, to gain knowledge of so we collect the data from the primary and secondary sources it could be either from the a person a private person it could either be from uh, the internet social media or from books so any method na makapag-collect ng data which could uh, which could present an answer to the question na tinanong natin kanina then that would form part of the process or procedure of research again it is an inquiry process so research is a scientific experimental or inductive manner of thinking so when we say scientific then basically it follows the research methods or certain standardized process or procedure at hindi lamang isang uri ng activity na hindi standardized or walang sinusunod na proseso so basically it it uh, starts with identification of a topic or problem so this one this one it could also uh, involve the gathering of data making theories so we will be discussing these theories formulating hypothesis those are some of the process and procedures in a research so the data you work on in the research do not come mainly from yourself but also from other sources of knowledge like people books in and artworks among others in uh, conducting a research especially in the field of business administration may mga pagkakataon talaga na hindi unique ang ating mga naiisip na mga tanong or ang uh, mga tinatry nating sagutin ng mga problema other person other people could also have conducted research in this particular topic that you are researching and 
one of the most important thing that you have to remember in research is that it should have references literature or existing literature bakit kailangan ng literature or references or sources related sources or related studies because this gives legitimacy to your topic or research nagbibigay siya ng legitimacy nagiging mas kapanipaniwala ang iyong research because other people have already conducted this particular topic so bakit mo pa kakailanganin ng research kung nagawa na nila ng uh, uh, research ang iyong uh, topic what you will be trying to say what you'll be trying to do is to address the research gap so when we say research gap then basically ano ba ang uh, hindi nila nasagot hindi nila naisama sa research nila ano ang kulang ano ang mali then basically yun ang isa sa mga method or way para makapagkandak ng research ang isang researcher gaya ninyo but one of the most important thing is to give credit to the people from whom you derive your data laging huwag kakalimutan that research is a scientific process at uh, lahat ng mga knowledge na magigay na, na kinuha mo from other people from other sources dapat pinibigyan natin ng citation in an APA format para hindi tayo makasuha ng plagiarism so yun ay isang pagkilala natin sa naging effort nila sa pagkandak ng isang scientific research na makakatulong sa iyong uh, endeavor so in the first topic in the uh, nature of research then basically this is not only an academic requirement na kailangan mong uh, maipasa sa loob ng isang SEM and in the field of business administration as students this is one of the most important uh, application of knowledge that you have to be serious about kasi kapag ikaw na ang nasa trabaho ikaw na nagtatrabaho then uh, your boss your supervisor might ask you something might pose a question might ask you for marketing strategies might uh, need your assistance in uh, coming up with an innovative product at hindi lahat yung magiging posible kung hindi ka marunong magkandak ng isang research in this particular at uh, topic scientific research so this that is or this is the summary the rationale of why we have to conduct research not only as students but also as future business person business managers and business administrators Thank you.